minutes we shall discuss a very um, controversial topic controversial in the sense some people want it to be permanently controversial i am not the first person to answer there have been dozens of people who have answered it in a public platform in a vocal way but still bad ideas do not die bad ideas do not die let me repeat that is the bane of this country one of them is <clears throat> gandhi was a saint gandhi drove away the british from india through his instrument called ahimsa without spilling a drop of blood and uh, the british empire in which the sun never set was destroyed once for all by the so called mahatma gandhi ahimsa vadi a satyagrahi and therefore there is no comparison between him and any other so called patriot particularly savarkar no this is the controversy is it true after all who was savarkar what was his contribution you may have tried to erase his memory from this country through wrong writing of history wrong emphasis imbalances and so on but people today depend more on social media than through tvs than through perpetrated wrong histories and all that let me remind you of our a few just a few factors until 1920 that is when the lokamanya tilak disappeared from the horizon of india the so called congress was properly more or less properly on the right track um, with the goal of achieving freedom for this country particularly in the leadership of tilak but once tilak disappeared gandhi appeared on the horizon from somewhere of from south africa and planted here by the british people Mm, and what did he do? By himself. Let me answer you, or let you, you answer me. Let me say, how much of blood was shed during the partition? Was this by himself? Millions of women were molested. Millions of people lost their properties. Millions of people were killed. Train loads of people. train loads of dead bodies were transported to india kushwan singh has written a novel about it in the east pakistan of those days in naukali there was a blood bath blood bath that jena ji wanted if you can call this ahimsa i will just call you a fool a bloody fool ahimsa is a hoax the ahimsa that sri krishna taught was a defense war, defensive war not an offensive war not a war to be perpetrated for self interest our concept of himsa is something totally different hmm? manu in the great manu smriti he says ahimsa paramo dharma hmm. dharma himsa tathai vacha we forget the second part ahimsa paramo ahimsa is a great value but dharma himsa for the existence of your people your country your dharma if you fight a defensive war that is equally ahimsa says manu we have totally erased this from our memory i'll just give you a few examples in the life of gandhi when swami shraddhanand the great uh, arya samajist swami was murdered by a muslim marauder somebody asked gandhi what do you do how do you justify gandhi never condemned the murderer of swami shraddhanand he was totally silent his ahimsa was dead at that time and the the people who the the, the lawyer who argued for the murderer became an ambassador to pakistan from nehru and when the so called khilafat movement turned into mopla rebellion and in kerala millions of people lost their property and life and women lost their honor and all that the newspaper men the some editors asked nehru what do you say what happens to ahimsa gandhi is on record having said that the god fearing moplas did what their religion taught them to do the god fearing moplas this is ahimsa and in naukali 
when a woman who had an only child lost him she was not involved in either pro or against hindu or muslim she took up the dead body of her son and held him before gandhi and said gandhi ji what has your ahimsa done to me to my son gandhi ji is on record i have quoted in my books on gandhi gandhi ji is on record on saying think that god gave you a son when he was happy think that he took away your son when he was unhappy this is the stupid answer gandhi gave how can you compare um savarkar hmm? savarkar was a great barrister an intelligent lawyer who studied in england fought from foreign soils for the freedom of this country they could swim across the the british channel do captured again and again and though he was imprisoned as a dreaded terrorist in the andamans he wrote great poems on the walls without paper and pen hmm? through the chains he wrote, all that was erased by our great mani shankar ayer all that literature is lost today and then hmm, he he of course came out of the prison by giving a false pretext to them this is made much of today he did not apologize he wanted an excuse for coming out of the prison to work for india again this is a this is what i may call a strategy rama did the same strategy during the killing of khara krishna did it several hundreds of times escaping the so shivaji did it again escaping the clutches of the enemy so that he can come back and fight back in war there is a thing called strategy which gandhi never understood see everything they say everything in war and love is fair gandhi ji didn't didn't understand the value of strategy he never used a single strategy but savarkar remained a patriot till the end of his life and when um hmm, when when netaji was driven out of this country by the machinations of gandhi and when he died a, um, a very regrettable death when he could not be accommodated within the indian scheme of politics it was savarkar who said netaji you should never have been born in india netaji you should never have been born in india and when netaji was elected for the second time for the presidency of national congress when kasturba pleaded for him Gandhi ji did not have one good word of our blessing for him but he built a great army azad hind force and this this gandhi and this savarkar compare them together the man who died for the right cause the man who died for india savarkar the man who died for his own sins gandhi ji where is the comparison between the two once for all we shall forget this stupid ahimsa i am such a great value as a student of mahabharata and ramayana I, i accept the value but not this hoax card ahimsa of gandhi ahimsa the sooner we forget it the better for the future of india jai hind